Welcome to episode two of Alana by the Shores Influencer Horror Stories. The second episode is going to be the story of the late Ashley Margaret Bird, who was an influencer very well known in the beauty industry within the YouTube world, or at least um, she was known very well by people that I actually follow on YouTube and, and Instagram and such. That's how I originally found out about this, the sad news about Ashley. And I'm going to pull up the article that I will be reading to you unfortunately the one that i really wanted to do or use from her local news in san diego is not available unless you pay for the subscription and i was like nope we're not doing that so i'm just gonna go with it was the first time where i knew that somebody knew somebody says <laughs> by jeanette quizada published april 18 2024 and it was updated at 10 17 in the morning is this one oh there's like a video too of ashley's sister allison Seifong. i might play this i might not i'm not sure but this one's a good article looks like a much better article to be honest sheriff's deputies say 35 year old ashley bird was killed in her home in the east county community of la presa on tuesday by her estranged husband there's no alleged in this article and then I saw recently after that, there was an article that said that they finally finished the court or something, I think. All right. By her estranged husband, who was also later found dead. The ordeal left a nine-year-old without both of his parents and two families heartbroken. She was just, and this is in quotes, by Ashley's sister, Allison Seifong. She was just a beautiful soul inside and out, Ashley's, Ashley Bird's younger sister said. Seifong remembers her sister as, a kind, caring and love, as kind, caring, and loving. She was also a devoted, or excuse me, she was also a devoted daughter, sister, auntie, and loving mother to her nine-year-old son, Seifong said. She would absolutely give anything and everything for her son, Seifong said. Ashley Bird was killed inside her Spring Valley home on Tuesday. Sheriff's deputies said the suspect is her estranged, estranged husband, Christopher Bird. And in quotes again, My sister, she worked from home. She was in a Zoom meeting. At that point, she thought someone was trying to break in. And she left and she said, Hey, give me a second. Somebody is trying to break into my house. Seifong said. Ashley Bird didn't return. Seifong said the coworker Ashley Bird was speaking with contacted their mother. When no one could reach her, they called the sheriff's office. My mom called me just before 11 o'clock. This is in quotes again. My mother called me just before 11 o'clock. And she was hysterical. Saying, she's gone. She's gone. I shouted, who's gone? Who's gone? She wasn't giving me details. She said. She said. Ashley. Ashley's gone. I just know it. Seifong said. Sheriff's deputies said Ashley Bird was found on the couch with a gunshot wound to her head. Later that day, Orange County law enforcement found her husband, Christopher Bird, dead inside his car in San Clemente. We knew he was volatile, and this is in quotes. We knew he was volatile, but we were we but we never expected this, Seifong said. Seifong said the couple were going through a divorce, but her sister denied any physical abuse. We asked her 
Do you feel like he's physically abusive? No, absolutely not, she would say. She would say, he would never physically harm me. He's fine, Seifong said. According to Seifong, days before the tragedy, Christopher Bird had received court documents declaring spousal and child support. We th and this is in quotes. We think the divorce may have sent him over the edge and then along with the custody battle that was finalizing at the end too, Seifong said. Seifong said while their hearts were aching, she will forever cherish the gift it was to have Ashley Bird as a sister and a best friend. In quotes, I wish I could have called her more. I talk to her every day, but I still wish I would have had that one last chance to talk to her. It didn't have to be anything elaborate. Just say hi, say I love you, give her a hug. Just those small, tiny details that I would have been able to do on a daily basis and didn't get to do that one last day. Sorry, I'm feeling really emotional right now between this and um, today's my mother's four-year anniversary of her death. So <laughs> between that and reading Ashley's story, I can totally feel it and relate to the feelings that Ashley's sister Allison had recounting her experience and the way she felt towards her sister. I just tell her how much I love her, Seifong said. Seifong said the family is now deciding who will have full custody of her nephew. And that's the end of that article. Um, and then at the bottom it says, which I've been pushing, or I did start to push with my first episode of my podcast. Um, definitely, if you know or if you know someone who is experiencing domestic violence and or is suicidal or feeling suicidal there are avenues that you can reach out to for help so at the bottom of this article it says if you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence contact the national domestic violence hotline by calling 1-800-799-SAFE or 1-800-799-7233 visiting www thehotline.org or texting love is one word to 22522 um, I hope you enjoyed my second episode of my influencer horror stories podcast and if you did please give this a like please share it with everyone you know and Don't forget to, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, Alana by the Shore. If you think you did and you aren't quite sure, please check again and do subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated and comment below and watch all the rest of my other videos. Thank you again and I hope you have a great day and thank you. Bye.